Hi guys, Brain the Squirrel, I am back with another video and today I'm going to be running through my predictions for Extreme Rules. Uh, before we do that, I just want to talk about the channel BTW. Uh, unfortunately, we have to take a little break for now. Um, it's just because we've got stuff in our personal lives that gets in the way, but it will be returning as soon as we've got everything sorted out. But yeah, for now, uh, I'm, I'm going to be continuing doing my predictions and everything on this channel. With that being said, let's go into the first prediction. So the first match that we've got is New Day versus Sanity in a tables match. Uh, this, I believe this is going to be on the kickoff show. If I remember right, that's what was said on SmackDown. I just feel like Sanity have to win this. This is the first pay-per-view match and the first like proper big match as uh, since their debut on the show. So yeah, uh, for this one, I'm going to take Sanity. Next match that we have is Finn Balor against Constable Baron Corbin. It, it's a hard way to swing this. I like the storyline that they're pushing with Constable Baron Corbin. I know there's a lot of people who don't really like it, but I feel like it's actually giving him a big spot, uh, which is better than watching him just fade away into a obscurity because he, he's brilliant in ring. So yeah, I just want to see more and more from him. Going into this match... I think I've got to give it to Finn Balor because I, I just feel like Finn Balor needs this win. He needs a big win. So yeah, going forward, Finn Balor for this and hopefully it'll push him into a bigger spot. So the next one we've got is Braun Strowman against Kevin Owens inside a steel cage. Uh, now this one, the story's been building and it's been pretty funny to watch. Like uh, Braun Strowman's just been completely tormenting Kevin Owens. Uh, and I feel like Kevin Owens has worked this story really well as well. For the winner of this, I'm going to go with Kevin Owens. I just feel like this is the win that Kevin Owens is is needing, really. This is the win that's go that's going to give him a little bit of a push. And I feel like after all the torment that Kevin Owens has gone through, that he deserves the win here. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with Kevin Owens. So, the next match that we've got is for the Raw Tag Team Championships. And this is the Deleter of Worlds against the B Team. Or should I say the undefeated B team? This has been a funny storyline going forward. Uh, in the last predictions, uh, we we did put in that this match was going ahead. At Money in the Bank. Like, it was just a bit of a mix up. So yeah, now it's actually going ahead, and the Deleter of Worlds is going to win this. We just know that they're going to win it. It'd be funny as fuck to see the B team actually pull off this win. But yeah, no. This is the end of the like undefeated streak. This is like this is it. But they're gonna keep going, and I've just got a feeling they're gonna be a brilliant team. So the next match that we've got is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. This is gonna be the Bludgeon Brothers against the newly reunited Team Hell No. I, I love the Team Hell No storyline like uh, the first time round. I thought it was funny, and I thought it just really worked. Daniel Bryan and Kane fed off each other so well. And the crowd just went mental for it and it was the same like when they reunited the crowd just went mental for it so yeah um i i just hope that they, they get the tag team titles again like I, I i would just love to hear them going back and forth going i'm the tag team champions no i'm the tag team champions it was just fucking perfect the first time and it worked so well again so yeah i'm gonna go with them for this one so moving on from that, we've got the United States Championship match. This is Jeff Hardy against Shinsuke Nakamura. Again, I feel like this one could really work well because of the fact that they've both got that similar like fighting style. They both go risky. Uh, so yeah, I feel like the clash between them two could be absolutely amazing. Uh, as for the win, like I absolutely love Jeff Hardy, but I feel like this has got to be Shinsuke Nakamura's win. After everything that's happened uh, with the WWE Championship, yeah, I I just feel like Shinsuke deserves a championship and this is the right one to give him. Now we have Carmella against Asuka for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Uh, the stipulation here is that James Ellsworth is going to be suspended above the ring inside a short cage. Can we leave him there? Like, is that allowed? Just suspend the shark cage and then never drop it we'll, we'll like throw food up at him and water and whatever just leave him there forever i understand it's entertainment and maybe people like it but i i just hate it 
Like, I absolutely despise the full thing. Going off of this, I feel like Asuka should win it. I, I think I'm just being biased here. I just think Asuka should win it for having to put up with all of this fucking James Ellsworth crap. Or maybe Carmella should win it for having to go along with being aligned with James Ellsworth. But yeah, I'm, go I'm gonna go with Asuka. Moving on, we are on to Roman Reigns against Bobby Lashley. Uh, two superstars who I can't really, I can't fully get behind. Like, the thing is, Roman Reigns, I've started to warm up towards him. Like, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little better about, you know, rooting for him and everything. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Roman Reigns on this. My problem with Bobby Lashley isn't his in-ring in style or anything like that. It's mainly what the company have done with him since he's been back. Like, they, ma they made him squash Elias, uh, and they put him as the good guy against Sami Zayn. It just didn't feel right. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to say Roman Reigns for this one. It has to be. Now we have a match that I am so looking forward to, and this is the 30-minute Ironman match for the Intercontinental Championship between Dolph Ziggler and Seth Rollins. Uh, and we know for a fact that Drew McIntyre is going to be ringside. Uh, I guess the whole Drew McIntyre thing swings it into Dolph Ziggler's favour. But I can't really tell how it's going to go at this point. Uh, like, both superstars are absolutely brilliant. And they had, they've had an incredible, like, feud. And the rematch they had to, for the title was absolutely amazing so yeah it's it's hard to judge which way this could go but for going forward in the future i kind of think dolph ziggler should hang on to the title don't get me wrong i'd love to see seth push on with the championship like get back and then just keep going but i feel like it'd be great to see dolph keep the title and then Drew just turn on him and have an amazing feud between those two. Now we have the Raw Women's Championship. This is Nia Jax against Alexa Bliss. Uh, let's just get it out of the way right now. I want Bliss to win. Like, please do not give Nia Jax back the title. And the, one of the biggest things here is the fact that they don't stop talking about Rousey. I know it's leading up to like SummerSlam, like Rousey's gonna be challenging for the title, and I'm guessing it's gonna be against Alexa Bliss with the way everything's been building. So yeah, but I'm just sick of hearing them talk about Ronda Rousey. Like every other sentence is Ronda Rousey when it comes to this title. So yeah, like we'll just push on. Uh, Alexa Bliss is gonna win that one. And finally, we have the WWE Championship match. This is AJ Styles against Rusev. Rusev is finally, finally in the big picture. Like, I'm, I'm going to say it now. Like, AJ Styles is going to win this match. AJ Styles is going to walk away with the championship, which uh, I fully support because I'm a massive fan of AJ Styles and I feel like they're pushing him to become the longest reigning champion of all time. Well, I don't know of all time, but they're pushing him to be the longest reigning champion. But it's just amazing to see Rusev is finally in the picture that he deserves to be in. Like, for so long, so, so, so long, he's been treated like crap. And I've hated to see it because he's an amazing superstar. And to see him get in this, it, I, I cheered. Like, as soon as I found out he was going to be in the match, like... After watching, you know, the gauntlet match, I was just like, yes, finally. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just over the moon with this match. And, yeah, AJ Styles is going to walk away. But I feel like there's going to be a good clash between both of them. But, yeah, those are my predictions for Extreme Rules. Um, I'm going to add the little stipulation here. If I get more than half wrong, uh, I will give away a £10 Amazon gift card. Details on that giveaway will be out on Monday when I talk about what's happened at Extreme Rules. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a good pay-per-view. The lineup, it looks mixed. Like, it, it looks a bit of a weird balance, but it could turn out to be really amazing. So yeah, let's, let's just hope it does. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you did like it. And if you did like it, 
give it a like. Uh, comment down below what match you're looking forward to at Extreme Rules. Uh, like, I, I think the match I'm most looking forward to is probably Shinsuke versus uh, Jeff. I feel like it could be a really good match. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one.